Hello everyone, Vintage Fire Alarm Guy. Happy Fire Alarm Friday. Today, we're going to be doing System Test 31. And also, we all can notice, this is the finale of the FCI FC 2024 uh, Fire Alarm Control Panel. So, yep, this is going to be the last System Test with this panel. But don't worry, I have more System Test coming, but this is the last System Test with the... FCI panel for a reason, so, yep, because next test, the new panel will be up, and, yeah, yeah and, and like I said, it is a simplex panel, so, um, I'm really, I'm really excited to put the new panel up, so, yep, so anyway, let's get started, so, obviously for pole stations, we have the Fenwall rebranded FCI MS2, um, this is not the fire one, this is the fire suppression system release one, that's okay, it still counts the firearm pulled, so it seems to be brand by Fenwall, but it's still originally made by FCI, so yeah. So yep, that is the first uh, initiating device on the system. Up here I have the System Sensor 2400. Uh, yep. I know you guys have I know you guys have seen a little bit of this smoke detector lately, but hey, I mean it's not a smoke detector, so why not use it? So anyway, that is the smoke on the ceiling on the system. And obviously, yes, this pulls still up from the last few system tests, so... But the next test, when I get the new panel out, this is going to get swapped out, so... Same with the, um, other initiating devices on the system, so... Yeah. So, yeah. So, that, anyway, that's pretty much our initiating devices, and now the alarms. Up here, I have a FCI STW... Uh, 1G remote stroke. It's the same thing as the Faraday um, 55 away or the service powertronic um, Strobe this is rebranded by FCI. So Yeah, so anyway, that is the first notification appliance on the system and over here This is a new alarm in my collection. I don't know if I sold this alarm yet, but this is a FCI HES STW Four wire, three tone horn strobe. I have the HEF version, which is the flush version, but I'm actually going to be selling that unit. So this unit I'm keeping though. This is the HES version, with single no service mount. So, yeah, the other one I have is flush mount. So, so yes, yeah, so that is the devices on the system. So now I don't think I've actually shouldered this feature yet. So this might be a longer video. So. But I don't think I've shown you guys the walk test feature on this panel yet, so yeah. So I'm gonna go demonstrate how that works. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna test all the devices, every initiating device, make sure it works, and then we'll go do an actual system test. So anyway, here it goes with this walk test. Alright, so give it a few seconds here. Alright, so now the light, the walk test light is on. We can now close this up. Well, let's go ahead and we'll activate the um, FCI or Fenwaller brand MS2. So, anyway, here we go. Alright, flip that down. Close that up. Alright, so now we know that device is working. Now we'll grab our screwdriver. Let's go on the ceiling because this is high off the ground. We'll go ahead and activate the 2400. And as you can see, the light turned off, so I mean that works. All right. So now let's go over here. I'll we'll activate the last pull station on the system, or the second pull on the system. And let's go ahead and activate this. Here we go. Whoa. Thought I broke that for a second. <laughs> that was weird. Thought I break that for a sec, but what? I did. So. Alright, so that was all our devices, and now we can reset the system. So Alright, so let's go ahead. I think I'll start off by the door today. And then we'll go do the detector and then the FCI pull over there. So anyway, here we go. Alright, 
And as you can see, we got some honorable silence. Both strokes are flashing. All right. Now, we can reset the system. And now let's go ahead and we'll activate the 2400 next. So, yep. All right. Going, going to activate 2400. Here we go. Oops. We can get this. There we go. Alright, so that was the smoke detector, and now for the last device on the system, the Funwall rebrand FCI pole. Here we go. Wow, that is pretty loud. <laughs> yeah. It's like, pretty much as loud as like a simplex true alert or something like that, for example. So, yep. All right, so we did the walk test. We did the actual system activation. Now we're gonna reset the system. All right, so that pretty much wraps up for system test 31. And also, this also wraps up for the finale of the FCI FC2224 fire alarm control panels. So, yep. So, yep. For, so, for the new panel, the new panel will be up. So, I have to test it still. If it does work, I'll go ahead and put that up. But if for some reason there's an issue with it or something's not right with it, then this panel might have to stay up for the next few system tests. But I'll let you guys know unless when I get system test uh, 32 up on the system. So, but, yeah. And also, I don't know if I said this in the beginning of the video, but I got this fire alarm from uh, Fire Alarms of Northeast Kansas. So, I actually got this unit new in box. You can probably see. This camera will focus. Come on, focus camera. Come on, focus. Okay, I don't know why. It doesn't know I want to focus for some reason, but... Yeah, I got this from Fire Alarms of Northeast Kansas. So, shout out to him. So... Thank you very much for sending me this. And like I said, the fun wall pole and the 2400 I got from Fire Alarm Dude 5967. So, also thank you. I will leave a link to their um, their YouTube channels. And although I think they have eBay stores too, so I'll leave a link to their eBay stores too. And I'll also leave a um, a link to GroupMe for Fire Alarm to Northeast Kansas and the the Discord server for Fire Alarm Dude 5967's channel. So. But yeah, so anyway, like that being said, if you all enjoyed this video, give this video a big thumbs up, drop a comment down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel.